Samantha. We're back today with Maggie. We've got her at the house here. I'm going to give you a little run through. And what I want to talk about today is that remember is what we're training her for and what we want to think in terms of with any kind of training is three basic behaviors that we can make the dog come to us, go away from us or remain stationary. So I want you to think of the coming when she's away from us and the healing really under the umbrella of the come to us. The going away to the place or going away to the kennel is the away and then the remaining stationary is either down beside us or we can make her stay over there. And so everything is, anything in dog training is a combination of one of those three behaviors. So this is just the fundamentals that you would teach any dog. So we can make her come, go, or remain stationary. So that's what terms we want to think of it in. So I'll just give her a little run through. We've got the sound box on today. So the longer buzzing sound is the pager, and the shorter chirping sound is the nick. And for the, those of you that aren't familiar with this, the collar does not make a sound. The sound box is just something we use to, as, as a training tool for the videos. So we're only going to use the dog's name when we want her to do the behavior of coming to us or coming with us. So I'm going to run the pager concurrent with the command, and we'll go from there. Maggie, heel. So then we'll send her away, and so the same thing, we're going to hold the pager down in your place. Good girl. Good. Such a good little girl. Good girl. Maggie, heel. Down. Maggie, heel. define heel as this location right here. So when I'm saying heel, in order to help define it, we want to do something called return to the stationary handler. So we're not always saying heel and walking. And this can be a little bit difficult for her. She kind of likes to bounce around a little bit. But in your place. Good girl. In. Down. 
And then remember, when we ask her to go down, I, I know you see this all the time. We see it all the time on YouTube. People bending and pointing to get the dog to go down. And remember, the reason we don't want to do that is because to a dog, any kind of bending appears to be submissive body language. They innately read body language. So if we're bending down and asking them to go down, it's, it's counterproductive. In your place. Good girl. What a wonderful dog. Maggie. Heel. She's the best dog in the world. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful dog. In your place. Ian. Good girl. Maggie Heel. as best you can try to define heel as that location. All right, we're going to give Maggie a little run through the obstacle course here. Heel. Samantha, Maggie's doing great. I'll see you guys Saturday. Bye.